Good afternoon, everybody. And I've actually done a little bit of inking around the edges there. And I've used a little bit of um, Victorian background stencils there. Uh, Inkwise, I've used my Cosmic Shimmer. I do love those. And here we go. I've used, what you call it? Decadent Teal. Oh, there it is. Uh, and then spritzed it, just left it to dry. So I've got this lovely sort of background. It has nothing to do or no bearing with what we're going to draw. But it's kind of nice, isn't it, to have something going on there. So first things first, I want to give myself a little bit of construction line. So I'm going to use my little uh, ruler here. And I'm only going to do it lightly because I don't really want it to be seen when I've finished. So there's the first one. See, I'm not going right up to the edge. It doesn't matter. Just need to know where those bits in the middle are. One more look. And then I also want to do the same in the middle here. So let me turn that round so I've got something to line up the bottom edge of that tile there. I'm going to do it that way. Mark that off. And I'm going to do it that way as well. Okay. Now I do want a bubble in the middle. And being that I've got my handy ruler with me today, I'm going to use that one to give it to me. But... Of course, you can do this freehand. You can draw around whatever you want to draw around. But let's have a look. Just that I've got it. I might as well, actually, even draw it straight in pen. Okay, bit of a bubble in the middle. Let's have a look at that then. Okay, let's go. Oh, doesn't want to move. Sometimes you know it works really well. Sometimes not so much. Doesn't want to zoom in. My finger's good, isn't it? There you go. All right, so we've got these sort of little lines around. So I want to try, if I can, and do something a little bit similar on both sides. So we've got this one. This one, let's have a little look. They look about the same. Yeah. Same here. It's just always handy to have something to give yourself a bit of a mark against, isn't it? They look about the same. That's fine. So here we go, first things first. What I want to do on this line is bring myself in a little shape, like that. And then this one, there, and then, and then that one. So same thing on each of those sides. And then that one. And then using that little point as a bit of guidance to help me out. And so while I'm in the, the centre bit, I'm going to come from side to side there and put myself like a little curve in on both sides. And if I turn it round, I'm going to come in a bit. And I'm going to do another curve, one on either side. Turn it back, another curve another curve and back same again look one there one there and back you see this is sort of forming that kind of a repeat pattern so I'm going to just keep turning it putting those lines in keep turning it putting those lines in and again and again, and go get one more in if I can, and even tiny one in there. All right, so I've got that kind of a sort of an illusion going on in the middle there. And of course, with my little uh, leafy or petal shapes, I'm going to put some lines, top and bottom. You can put dots on these in all sorts if you want to. I just want it for that little bit of extra shading. So might as well do that while we're going. And this is, if you've got a nice piece of cardstock, if it's got a nice pattern on it, but it's not too deep, you could draw all over a piece of uh, pattern paper if you want to. It works quite well. So ready for the next bit? All right, so it doesn't matter which side because I'm going to do it on both. But I'm going to start this side, I think, and I'm going to come up and create a 
curl on the top. Now you notice that I've not gone too wide. And then we're going to come back down. And whilst I've got that side started, I'm going to repeat the process. I just think I'm going to get a slightly better shape if I do all of them together. And then come back and do the others. Same with this one. And back down. Okay. So then I can come and do the other side. I don't think you've got to do this in one stretch. You can do that curl first and then come back down. Or if you want to do it in one go, that's without taking your pen off the paper, down we go. And you need to remember that you're not going to get them all completely symmetrical, not going to be a mirror image. So if we accept that to start with, it doesn't matter then. It's something similar. Okay, it's nice, isn't it? Next bit then, I'm going to sort of, if I can. I think I don't want to zoom in today. There you are. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come off the back of this one. Once, twice. Now you see I'm getting close to that line there. I do actually want to touch it, like that, but not go any further on it. So let's repeat. One, two. So you can sort of gauge what size your bits are going to be there. But you, you can go thicker, you can do two. The idea is I'd like to touch that line, but not go over it. And then again. And so I'm going to make that one a little bit smaller. That last one was a little bit too big. And there you go. I can even them out. You see? So doing it on this side. Again, you might find it easy to do it this way. I don't know. It's, I always think I like to know where it's sort of started I know where it's going to that point so I find it easy to go this way let me see what whatever works for you and they're going to join like that it doesn't matter if they're a little bit out in terms of size if I, I wanted you to measure it I'd, I would have given you an actual measurement there so they're all going to be slightly higher I think next one there we go see one two, let's put that line there, joining it, and three, joining that, and then one more, and again, thinking threes, I bet you're all counting now, two, and three, right, lovely shape in its own right, isn't it, like that, okay, so let's have a look at these lines now, where we've got these diagonals, and remember now we've got these touching, so I'm going to help myself a little bit and I'm going to look at, now when I say halfway, I'm going to sort of gauge halfway. But then remember, these might be different. So you've got to take each one sort of on merit and think about, are they going to be a similar size? So we did start in the middle, so they should be similar. All right. So on this one now, I know we've, we've did these before, but if I can, I want to make this one a little bit wider. A little bit wider. And let's do all of those. First of all. Then again. A little bit wider. And one more. So I think uh, while we're at it, we see we've got these little triangle shapes there, sort of enclosed. I'm going to come in and put a bubble in there, maybe one, and fill those gaps in. So you're going to get a larger bubble and a smaller and fill the gaps in. Same on this side, thinner, or a bit bigger and smaller. Put the gaps in with ink. Okay. 
So let's look at this shape here. So, and again, if you want to do it this way rather than this way, that's fine, whatever works for you. Bearing in mind I'm left-handed, so I'm always going to sort of bring it this way. And then I'm going to bring one this way, okay? So you could do it a different way if you want. So I'm going this way and this way. This way. So it's like a little sweeping sort of thing going on here. Let's see, this way and this way. So I've, I've done the same on all of them. Again, you can uh, do it a different way around if you want to. And then here, I'm going to come down and put like a little bit of a wavy line on it. Similar thing there. Again, like a bit of a wavy line. Something similar on that one. And again. So you notice I'm not trying to make it the same. I'm not looking at what went before. It's about just that one in that moment. So they're all same but different. Okay. So let's look at this little bit here. And if I can, or if you can, let's put a smaller little sort of leafy shape there. And then I'm going to fill it with bubbles. Any little gaps, of course, we're going to put in with ink. Same again, look. Leafy kind of shape. Start with your bubble in the middle. You're going to get one either side. Fill it with ink. Same again. Leafy shape. Bubble in the middle. One either side. And fill it in. And again, little paddle, bubble, one either side, fill it in. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Okay, so just to uh, repeat what we sort of did here a little bit really, is I'm going to bring in three lines at the bottom there. The first one is up the diagonal that we started with, and one either side. Sort of gives it a little bit of shading before we put the pencil to it. Okay. So, looking back at this bit here, I'm going to start in this sort of bottom corner. You see where that joins that section? And I'm going to come up and out. And back in. So, I'm going to do the same here from that point up and out and back in so I'm doing them all on the same side first it's just a little bit easier it helps you sort of get into a bit of a rhythm to get those in all right and then this way so again I'm not trying to find anything seriously symmetrical in it it's a case that I'm doing a similar pattern. It's facing that way, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. And this one. We've got that kind of a shape. So from there, I can go one, two, three. So Again, you can do them all the way around. I'm going to do them this way this time. So joining those together. You get three in there. And then to this next one. And three again. Two. And three. And the same this side. Working it round. So we've got something similar on each of those corners. Same with this one. And again, if you uh, want to, you can go more. You can do four. Well, I think three is enough for me. I'm going to stick with that number today. Making sure they all join, of course. And then one more. Into that shape there. Two and three. And then this one. Along we go. Two and three. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to put my pen down and I'm just going to remove any extra pencil lines that we don't really want now. So I can still see that one. don't want that through the middle. Now always take care of this, of course, because if you've got a little bit of ink that's still wet, you don't want to be smudging it all across your lovely piece. So just be careful with it and don't rub it out unless you really have to. My lines are always a little bit darker because I want you to see the lines I've drawn. So, there you go. Okay. So let's bring some pencil in. Uh, first things first then, regular pencil. I'm going to put a bit of colour in, I think, but we'll see where it sort of takes us first. So looking at the middle, I'm going to start by adding a bit of pencil in each one of those. Now as it gets smaller, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to go right to the middle. That's it. Oh, somebody's well trained. Thank you, Tommy. Okay. Yeah, Leslie's not in today, so. Glasses, she's poorly. Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. So I'll get my cup of tea from Tommy. Okay. Same on this one. And this one. Do you know, Leslie, he's got shorts on today. Shorts. He's been throwing it down here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then onto these, where we've put that set of three lines, I'm going to add my pencil. And this one. So I'm not particularly colouring it in, so let's just applying it. And then I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to work on these here. So we could go just at the sides or we could go top and bottom. I think I'm going to keep with what I've got and do top and bottom. Get all those in. And with this one. So down there, look. And that one. Oh, I don't want to go on that one. Down this one. And this one. Same again. So it's keeping it consistent so you don't need to uh, try to really think about what we're doing with this. It's just about let's get some on all in the same place and then let's clean it up after. And this one. And then I'm going to repeat it here too. So that one around that bit and this one working it up there into this one and along there same with this one and of course I'll put that Let's have a little bit one more to oh two more to do do you know I felt like I've done loads more Thought I was on my last one then. And in there. And then I am on the last one. And this side. So these little bits go underneath there. A bit under there. A bit under there. So it's, uh, it's very technical as you can tell. Bit under there. There you go. And that one. That one. And there. That bit. There. And there. Okay. So in comes a tortillon. And of course, a perfect opportunity to have a cup of tea. Then, let's get to it. What I would like to do is push that out a little bit, but I don't want it to join in the middle. If it's a little bit argumentative, you can bring it in with swirls. See, so starts it off, pulls it out. It releases a little bit more of that graphite. So you can uh, work on each bit separately, or you can work on one corner, one side. See here? Same sort of thing as I'm going to bring it in towards the middle. 
but I'm not going to let it touch the middle. We want to have that little highlight if we can without putting it in afterwards. Okay, so let's do a few of these. So, same sort of thing top and bottom, keep it nice and soft, leave a little bit of a highlight there. And work your way around the piece. So here again, you can go under there, look, a little bit there. I'm not trying to overdo that one too much. They're kind of small, so let's make sure we've got that going. Okay, to there. And into these. It makes it look a little bit different, doesn't it, when you've got colour in the background. It almost doesn't seem as scary putting pen to paper. Because there's something already on it. So That sometimes works, especially if you've got a large piece to do. Always try perhaps inking a bit of it and putting something on there first. Or trying a piece of cardstock that's already got something on it. It's a nice way to go as well. Uh, to those and I think I'm going to bring some colour into this just to uh, wake it up a little bit and when we could go back in and we could do a bit more pen work add some black pencil but I feel I want to add a bit of colour to it okay let's have a look at that where it stands at the minute okay Let's uh, pencil that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to get that set. It's funny, isn't it? I've got two sets, and I always find I end up missing certain pencils. That was like last week, you know, when Leslie brought me that really long, sharpened pencil in. Remember that? <laughs> okay. So, what have I got going for me then? I'm going to go in with, let's have a look. I've got a bit of mid-sea blue. Sort of matches the colour of the background. So then, of course, I would like a, a little bit of dark sea blue as well. And then we can use our summer skies. And, of course, we want a bit of white. So let's go in a little bit. Here we go. Okay, doesn't want me to... There you go. All right. Start with the dark one. And I'm going to go in with the dark and give myself a little bit of colour on those bubbles. Even a little one, maybe. Yeah. There we go. And a little bit in those too. Remember, they are quite small, so there's not a lot you could put in. So be sparing with it. It's not like colouring at all. And same on here. I'm going to come in there. Add a little bit down there. So, of course, I'm going to do that with all of them. A little bit in there. Now, of course, if you're not going to use colour, that's absolutely fine. You'd be putting your pencil in exactly the same places I'm putting my colour. And you'd then use your torchion to blend it out. And that would be you done and sorted. So you don't have to, I'm just giving you the option if you want to. Okay. Again, you notice I'm not really putting a, a lot of sort of effort into it, trying to blend it at the minute. It's just about getting some in there. Okay. So if I bring in the uh, mid sea blue now, and add a little bit more onto those little bubble shapes. And a little bit more round onto these two. Again, it's just follow it round. You don't want to do straight lines. You want to keep it a little bit curved if you can. And then follow it round as you go. Same with this one. You know, you just keep it going. And you don't really need to add much colour. They're quite small, so. You're not going to get that much in anyway. See how it's 
adds that little bit to it. Okay, so the lighter one now, the uh, summer sky. And again, I'm going to try and leave a little bit if I can for the white pencil, but they are really small. So we can always go over the top with the white. And uh, add that extra bit in there. So it's more like I'm not worried really about where the, the light source is coming from. It, it doesn't matter. It's a completely random sort of design. So we can do what we like with it. Okay. Uh, a little bit of white. So I know I've not put a lot of colour in all of those bubbles, but it doesn't matter. So I can sort of burnish it a little bit more with the, the white there. So then wander it round. So it's uh, sort of all, all coloured in. Nice to sort of uh, get that little bit of white in, of course. And if you wanted to add a little bit of the highlight, you know, sort of here and here, and you've not used coloured pencil, then you can do that with your white chalk pencil, and it'll do a similar job. But of course, you won't have that sort of little hint of colour in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a darker blue in now. I've got my night sky. And what I'd like to do with this is... You see where we've got this joining this here? I want to add a little bit in there. Okay, so it's not a massive amount, it's not much. And again, if you were doing this with your just your pencil and your tortillon, I would probably come in and draw those lines back in with a black pen. Just sort of bring them up a little bit. And sort of uh, in there too. See, we just want a little bit more darkness in those places. Same with those. Sort of uh, adding them in. Giving it a little bit, just a touch on the bottom edges. Now, of course, you've got a decision to make here as well about these little sort of corner pieces. Let's do that. Do we want to leave these as they are, or do you want to put some colour in? So we could go in with the dark colour, but uh, I think I'm going to come in with, let me have a think. An orange seems the, the ideal thing to do, but I don't know, I'm going to go in with, uh, let's have a look, Santangle Red, and add a touch of red to it. So I'm not going to blend that, I'm going to completely fill it in. It's going to bring these out a little bit more. So again, if you're not using coloured pencil, you can fill this in with black ink. You can leave them as they are. You could add a bit of shading. Okay. And then just sort of coming back into the middle. Let's add a touch of it in there. Okay. Just a little bit. And then you see just on the edges, just ever so lightly. Follow it down with a bit of colour. Really a light touch there. We just want a hint of it. Okay. So let's have a little look at that. You see the difference now doing that? Having that little bit of an extra bit in the corners. I think we can go a little bit darker with that there. Just to bring that in. It's going to bring that out. I mean that I'm using pencils, I might as well go in with my white pencil here and bring a little bit of the highlight out there. Because I've got an inky background, the white's going to stand up a little bit more. So add that in there. And yeah, make sure you can go back around and add a little bit in those. I'll just do these outer ones. That seems to be where most of my ink is. To this. 
and then this one. Okay, and then that one is all done and sorted. So nice and quick one today in a sense, but 426 all done. So last thing to do, a little bit of a signature. And there we are, so enjoy it. See how you get on with this one. Uh, maybe you even want to, uh, you'll want to change the middle or try something a bit different with it. Well, have a bit of fun. And all being well, I'll see you back here on Friday at two o'clock for the next one. So have a lovely day, what's left of it. And I will see you all soon. So take care and bye. Mm -hmm.